Hi there everyone. As promised, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, most up-to-date uh, stuff that I have here on pulsing the Neo Magnet. And uh, what I've got here is a toroid transformer. And it's a toroid with two 115 uh, ins to 225 outs. And I've got the 25 here uh, grouped together, so I'll be uh, putting in my 12 volts on the other two leads here of the 25 volts in. And the 110 uh, outs are going to be going to this uh, bulb here. And uh, there's a free set here of 110 outs. Uh, I'm not going to use those. Uh, there's my voltmeter. I'm now set on DC uh, volts and uh, on the scale of 20 volts. And my amp meter is ready to go. We'll zero that. Um, right now, all I'll do is I'll show you um, basically 12 volts. I've got some deep cycle batteries down there. I've got one of them hooked up and uh, so just basically I'll be using 12 volts coming into this circuit and right now I'll turn on the 12 volts and okay we've got about 13 14 uh, milliamps and the bulb is just barely glowing. Uh, that's what the bulb does basically uh, with 12 volts uh, and it consumes around 13, 14 milliamps. That's straight 12 volts DC in there. Okay, so I'm using that as a reference and what I'm going to do is try to my best to uh, there's the voltage on the battery there 12.46 volts is I'm going to do my best to try to match that but pulsing the uh, the 12 volts through my neo magnet here so what I've got is a neo magnet that has stuck on here with this little uh, dual uh, sided uh, foam tape and so it's insulated from this aluminum uh, because here this is just a heat sink and I've got a small piece of copper wire that's soldered on this post here that's very finely tuned and that's going to actually vibrate on the magnet and you'll hear the vibrations really in the transformer once I start start it and uh, this is the positive uh, that I'm going to be attaching to this and vibrating on the neo magnet and it's going to be going into the transformer and the negative here I'll turn off my 12 volts I'll put this back where it should be and this is going to connect right here. And these leads come back. Okay, so this ready to go. Meter is still at zero. And we're going to change the scale now to AC because basically we'll have AC because it'll be the DC that's pulsed and there's no diodes, there's no nothing, there's no electronics just straight 12 volts DC and the Neo magnet and this little assembly here is going to be doing all the work to try to recreate that same voltage and hopefully the same amount of draw and I'll turn it on hopefully it's still tuned yeah I'll bring the camera close to the transformer uh, 
I turned it off and I'll turn it back on. If you hear that hissing, that's the actual very fine piece of copper wire here that's actually vibrating on that neomagnet and it's giving voltage. There's actually 13.5 volts roughly uh, AC uh, with this load with this bulb on it which is a 120 volt bulb uh, which is about 7.5 watts and um, now that bulb is actually lit a little uh, stronger, a little more than what it was with the 12 volts because well we're actually about one volt more and the consumption is 23 milliwatts now if I was to drop that voltage by trying to finely tune that little piece of copper wire that's vibrating on the magnet um, I could get that pretty well matched if I could get that down to 12.5 volts uh, you would see that I would be somewhere around 14, 15 uh, I already had it down to that but very difficult to maintain it well, now they at this point sometimes the it starts and it stops but now it's going and there you go there's a 13.5.6 volts AC on that bulb and that bulb is actually about 200 ohms pretty well exactly 200 ohm load well, it just stopped there from time to time if I have that too sensitive uh, adjusted there that's what it's going to do kind of stop and stop start and stop so there you have it you can use a neomagnet as an inverter now I just tuned all this just to demonstrate uh, this but I can actually use a bigger piece of wire and get a lot more results look at the bulb and obviously you can hear the transformer I'll show you so all you need is just a little piece of wire copper wire and it'll vibrate and do the pulsing all by itself and give you AC right through the transformer um, I'll adjust the scale here to 200 volts so you can see that here we go 50 60 volts A lot of plasma. You can't do this too long because the wire just gets too hot and after that it just doesn't work too well anymore. This wire pretty well has got is kind of cooked now. That's if you press on it too hard, it it actually burns the wire. It's an interesting effect, and uh, the sound in the transformer is kind of cool too as well. So you don't need a big neo magnet. I tried it with big two-inch magnets. Oh yeah, there's that special thing. If you put that wire on the wrong side, if I put that wire underneath, because of the way the electricity is turning around the wire, it'll just short out the wire like that. So there you go. I hope you enjoy this. Bye.